guys, this is Steven, and today I'm going to be showing you how to chroma key in After Effects. Let's get started. We're going to drag in our raw green screen footage and our background. Let's drag that in there. And we're going to drag our green screen footage into our composition like so. Now we're going to go to Effect, Keying, and hit Key Light. This is a very powerful plugin that is built into After Effects, and it really does wonders. We're going to select the color green that's on this by using this little eyedropper tool going over here and selecting the green. Now that does a pretty good job and we can toggle the opacity right here or the transparency grid by looking at it like that. Just keep on clicking it. We're going to keep it on black for now but that's still not good enough because we still have some gray areas and we don't want that. I'm going to change the view to combined matte just so we can get a better look at the blacks and the whites and we want to make the blacks as black as possible and the whites white as possible so here's what we do we go to the screen mat and we have our clip black we can bring that up until all the gray is gone on the black then we have a clip white and we can bring that down until all the gray is back on the white pretty good I'm gonna leave it at about 92 and for the black and brown 30. Now this will vary with every green screen footage shot you have, but just keep like that. For this particular one, that's what I'll do. I'll switch back to the final result, and I can still sort of see a hard edge on this. It's not as good as it should be right now. So I'm gonna do this pre-screen blur right here. Now that'll just soften up the edges a little bit, make it a little bit nicer to look at. So I'll drag that up to about a 2, maybe. Yeah, that looks pretty good. 2, that'll just soften up the edges, make it look a lot nicer. And if you're still having some trouble with the green screen, that it was just spilling into the shot, you can use the screen shrink and grow. If you wanted to grow it, it would obviously make the mask a little bit bigger, and if you wanted to shrink it, make it a little smaller. But that's all up to you. I'm going to keep it around negative 6. That makes it look pretty nice. And also, the green, the green screen can spill onto your subject, which can make it, you know, appear green around the edges. So you can fix that by messing with these colors. This gray is a very neutral color, that's why it's there by default, but you can move it down, you can move it up, just to make it, you know, not spill as much. And that looks pretty good. And now we'll drag in our background that we want to use. We'll just clip that right there. And there we go. That's how you chroma key in After Effects. But if you want to get a better looking result, you can also, as you have your green screen selected, go to Effect, Color Correction, and Curves, and match the brightness and contrast to the background. So this background's pretty light, and I'm just going to, you know, drag him up, make him a little lighter, just to make it look a little bit more realistic. I hope you guys like this tutorial. If you want free green screen footage, I got it off of this website, TimelineGFX.com. The link will be in the description, and you can, they have a bunch of free stuff. You can purchase some other things, but it's pretty nice. I hope you guys like this tutorial. Please comment, like it, subscribe if you want to. Alright, thanks guys. Peace.